It is one of the largest and There's most comprehensive off. research projects on severe storms. Perils will focus on the environment for tornado formation in the southeast. Here in Georgia, we can have supercell thunderstorms like they do in the plains, but lines of storms are much more common. These squall lines can bring intense winds and tornadoes and happen any time of year. The $9 million research project will deploy a variety of weather instruments and collect information on the environment before, during, and after a tornado. This will paint a clearer picture of why part of a line of storms produces a tornado while another part does not. The research area it will cover crosses seven states across the southeast, but notice how Georgia is not highlighted in yellow. I asked researchers why the peach state was not included. They said we had too many trees. A key part of the study is the use of mobile Doppler radars. These radars scan the bottom levels of storms where they can rotate and form a tornado. Georgia is a highly forested state, which would have been problematic for these radars trying to get that critical information. Tornadoes are just as common in the southeast as they are in Tornado Alley, but more people die from tornadoes in the southeast. The National Weather Service in Peachtree City will be able to take this information to improve tornado detection and ultimately save more lives.